Hello, these are those odd gamers. I'm Met King. Hey, I'm Ozzy. Hey, I'm Worm Talon. Kazaneko here. I'm Chaos. And we're playing I'm something Lion on the Wii. I like hey, don't forget Lion Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Oh, yeah, Lion Eagle. Lion Eagle. Clearly, it was Beedoof. Beedoof. Yes. Oh, why don't we play yeah. today, man? Well, today we're playing Trauma Center Second Opinion on the Wii. Which is basically just a port of Trauma Center under the knife for the DS. But with better detection and a new final chapter and a few side chapters. Now, I played the DS version and... Yeah. I, I kind of almost rage smashed my DS. So... That was a thing. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's a brutally hard game. It, 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 do not be fooled. It is very much an old school kind of idea of a game where... Uh, you, it's all about fast-paced action, but you're a doctor. I Quite have literally not played any of these games. Me either. Yeah, this is the kind of game where if you make one mistake, everything could suddenly pile up on you and you'll lose the oper your current operation. It, because of its fast-paced nature, uh, panic is your worst enemy, because when things start to spiral out of control, it's incredibly easy just to... Okay, now with the controls, is this easier than the DS version? It's a bit better about detection because you have such a because you're using a Wiimote as opposed to a stylus. You're given a bit more leeway on certain things. Yeah, but I will argue kind of that the stylus thinking. is a little bit more accurate. Just saying. Yes. But even then, you... it's not 100% uh, perfect because you have to make draw certain things with the stylus or with the Wii Motion in order to do certain actions. And sometimes you could have sworn you did the right, correct motion and it didn't register correctly. Yes, and for some of them where you have to use this directly inject something, you have to be perfectly precise. Believe me, some of the easiest operations I end up sucking on, because on the DS, you literally can just tap it, or this, you have to aim it, and just a tiny fidget will knock it off and give you a miss. Mm. Well, you gotta give it to Atlas. They know how to write good stories, they make great games, and their music for their games is Unfortunately, hands down their the ability best. to name locations is still as poor as ever. Welcome to Hope Hospital. Well, to be fair, it's a hospital, so I'm not giving you a huge... Credit on naming. <laughs> what is uh, Who's hope? inventive about hospital names anymore? Whoever it was to begin with. Well, usually most hospitals, aren't they, like, named after people who, like, donate for a hospital to be built somewhere? It depends. By the way, here's our big character, Dr. Styles. Get it? DS? Dr. Styles? Like a stylus? Uh, uh, why am I smelling uh, copper right now? Um, you know, I, the devs. <laughs> I bet my lip and I'm bleeding. That's like... Yeah, by, by the way, if you're tasting copper, that's me really wrong, because you should be tasting zinc. Uh, <laughs> yes, pennies are made of zinc, not copper. And here's our main character. He, uh, he is the main character. Even the game calls him that. Uh, well, you know, his name could be, you know, is William he Motel. He's still not a professional protagonist. He's getting there. Yes. <laughs> He's the protagonist for this story. Yes, and like most games that kind of start off this way in the DS, similar to Phoenix Wright, he's a rookie. Yes. And despite this being the most basic of operations, you could still not get a good rank on this. Because I have... And in fact, I don't get a good rank on this first couple operations, because the pace is so slow I'm not used to it. I'm used to having things go wrong instantly. This one, there's no danger of anything, and I'm basically just following a line. Well, what's gonna happen? So you're his arm if you screw up, he gets emotional. He gets scars instead. <laughs> you immediately get kicked out of the game. The disc explodes and launches into your brain, killing you instantly. But this is pretty much what the game is. You select tools with the uh, the left analog stick, if I recall. Uh, yeah, just the nunchuck stick. And then it's more or less, depending what you have in your hand, you can use, uh, different motions with the, uh, other controller. 
By the way, the magic green gel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Believe I think me, it... that gel can save you if you do it right. I think it's made out of the same stuff that the Resident Evil used for green herbs. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh. Just, ah. just, yeah. Like I said, I'm so used to the pacing being so different. So basically, you're too good for the early missions. Yes. <laughs> it's, I can understand that complete. Oh, by the way, pulling out these little things on the DS sometimes is a little finicky. Like, sometimes, because the idea is you can't, like, pull it sideways. You literally have to pull out a long, sharp thing completely, then take it out. And so, well, yeah, and the, my up. word of advice is just grab it and pull fast in a straight line. You don't have enough time for your finger to fidget at all and cost you points, just pull it, and the game doesn't have time to deduct any points. Yeah, but the detection on the stylist alone is just like, okay, you're trying to pull it out, oh, it's gonna cut him, oh, it's gonna cut him. Even if you try to go the slowest, it's like, okay, you're still gonna be losing. Right. Here's your score screen, you get one for being the stage, one for four files at the end. One. Only four? Not that enough cools you can get in some of these operations. Anyway, and there's special bonuses. Usually they go up to 2,000 points, and that's how your ranks are determined. You know what this game could get? I really benefit from? Uh, leaderboards. It's that game. They, well, they don't have it in this game, but they actually do have leaderboards in the subsequent game. Uh, which one? But, uh, New Blood for only, like, four operations, but that's not this game. That's that game. Why would they only yeah. do it for four operations? Because they are called, they're literally specifically designed for leaderboards. Huh. But anyway. And now we get to learn how to do things. Yeah. Because this mission is learning the ropes. <laughs> this time we're going to learn how to deal with tumors. Yes, you do actually use this a lot. Uh, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor. <laughs> um, tumor. It's not a tumor. No, wait, totally it is a tumor. Oh, God. Anyway. Uh... Anyway, most of the tools you actually use are pretty self-explanatory. Scalpel, it cuts things. Like Magic green goo, revives the vitals. Laser, burn shit. Drain. Why are the laser beam? Uh, we're not at the laser yet. What gets the Syringe, inject stuff. <laughs> so, other than the very plain looking nurse, who is the other guy? Is he kind of like your mentor? Yeah. Because he looks mentorish, you know. He's competent. Yeah. He's got a. He's got a. Nice he's the team. senior advisor of the hospital. No, he's not the senior advisor. The senior advisor looks older. He's basically the head surgeon of the hospital. Name I don't care. I'm not to remember. Again, Atlas's character designs. You can actually. I love their artwork. You can tell that it's done by them. Yeah, they have a distinct art style. I agree. And it's, if you were to pretty much play any Atlas game that uses these uh, anime still images, you could clearly see the work. Oh, well, it's definitely better than what they were doing previously, which was like a lot of the King of Fighters art, which looked more realistic and everything like that. And then they started to do the anime-ish characters, which, you know, it actually looks so much better than what they were doing. Yeah. There's obviously give and takes of both, but I would say I enjoy the anime uh, Atlas what style are you doing? overall. If, if the very least, uh, because uh, for the most part, even though you think uh, everybody looks generic anime-ish, they do have distinct looks about them that, that, that makes them recognizable, which is really hard to do. Doctor? And... By the way, you can actually get a little bonus bit of dialogue if you put the scanner right on top of the tumor on the first try. Basically, she just said this is how she's impressed you managed to get on first try. Oh, also, I hate tumors. Yeah, tumors are annoying to get because you can't scan them if you want to get cools on them. Oh yeah, and there was a nasty little bug with scanning uh, things in the DS version. Sometimes. Uh, it wasn't game breaking, but it was annoying. It, it just it wouldn't work correctly. It's it wouldn't be noticeable on these early stuff, but later on when you have to use it like extremely stupidly fast, it's much more noticeable. So you're gonna do the next game apparently? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Doctor Styles. 
Well, apparently you seem to know everything. I know quite a bit, because I played this game before, and I enjoyed it for what it was, but there was a point where I drew the line and said, fuck it, no more. And you know what? I persevered through that thing, and I beat, can be the same pretty Let me regularly. guess, it involved a certain explosive device? No. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh... I'll get there. <laughs> Everyone loves the explosive patient. <laughs> no! No! Oh my god, what if it's like that South Park episode where it's like, Dr. Styles, somebody uh, 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 put a snook, uh, a snook up their sis, and you gotta go take uh, it out. <laughs> oh god. Can we please focus on what we're I'm just gonna see what happens between games. <laughs> <laughs> that or they send them to the Surgeon Simulator game. Sorry, we're Dylan, I know you're not a fan of that show. That's, but... I so, what do you think of everything going on? Well, I played this game like a uh, few missions and I was like, uh, yeah, this is not for me. Did you get to, like, uh, like get to the point where the game starts getting really faster or did you kind of was like, eh, I, I think it was a few missions after you get the, like, uh, the special thing. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get to that later. I think I know which mission you were talking about. Oh. Yeah, but when we get to the actual we'll get there. speed we'll of the get game... There. Are you the chosen one, Matt? Please, tell me you're the chosen one. Of course he's the chosen, chosen one. He's the protagonist. I'm coming! Yes, I'm the main character of the story. Of course I'm the chosen one. <laughs> Along with everyone else who bought this game and played it, they were chosen ones too. Exactly. Oh, and... This guy is... Who? Dr. Hoffman. He, the old he's guy. the old man. Yeah. Of this game. Okay. Yeah, he's the game signature old man. Since that incident. Yes. What incident? Foreshadowing. Well, guess what? We don't ever learn what exactly that incident is. What? Really? Yep. I thought it got brought up once. It gets brought up, but they never say exactly what happened. Plot hole. Uh, sequel bait? Nope. They say somewhat what happens. Enough to get a basic idea, but nothing really explicit. Just that something happened and he doesn't operate anymore. Starting yeah. The operation. So, is when does things start really picking up, though, in the... Uh... I'd say once you get into Chapter 2, that's when they start really opening up. This one gives you the first access to all tools, but... Once you get to Chapter 2, they start to show you what they're expecting. You'll still have to get tutorialized on everything new, to a certain extent, but they're much more open about things and letting you actually do your job. Oh, what's the mysterious blue liquid? Is that for poisons? We are going off of Resident Evil, you know. No, that's for inflammation. Those, anytime you see red dots, just inject it in there to get rid of them. missions are needless to say not fun. Did you play the original DS version? I've played all of them. And beaten all but one of them. Was it one of the DS versions you did not beat? I beat the only one I haven't beaten is trying to set a new blood actually. Mm. Just never got around to beating it. Is it one of I'm willing to bet once they had a working formula and because of its uh, graphic nature, it was probably really easy for them to just chuck out uh, the uh, next game. Well, anyway, the way the scoring system works for rankings is that you have 2,000 points worth of special bonuses, and you have to get all of them to get an S rank. Plus, you have to reach a certain score point. Otherwise, if you miss even one bonus, the best you could ever get is an A rank. Ooh, I just realized that we're also in Angeles Bay. Hmm, I'm seeing a theme here. Let's be honest that this is supposed to be Japan in the normal game in the regular DS games in Japan. They just change it for America because, you know, America. <laughs> America. 